Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today I will do a follow-up on iOS 14 beta 4 Which as you can see by the title hasn't been a very very smooth experience for me So in this video, we're going to talk about all the problems that iOS 14 beta 4 has Also, of course, we're going to take a look at some new features that have been discovered on beta 4 as well as battery life and performance overall on iOS 14 beta 4 Starting things off with more new features that have been added to iOS 14 beta 4. Now when you go to delete one of your apps on iOS 14 beta 4, you can see that now you will have a new message right here on the pop-up. So it says move in this case MBA to app library or delete the app. So now it gives you both options at the pop-up right here. Of course now you will have the ability to move it to the library or completely delete the app from the device. Also a new feature can be seen on the icon of the folders you can see right there how the icon of the folder will take the color of the wallpaper so when you're moving it you can see it transitions into a different color there are also new icons on the weather app so if you take a look at the weather app you will notice that the sun has a new icon also now it's on the right side of the cloud and also the cloud here with the storm icon has been redesigned as well now it looks more flat it doesn't have that 3d look that it had on beta 3. On iOS 14 beta 4 you will notice that now on the status bar you will have that little headphone icon when you're playing music through the airpods on your device. Now this used to be a feature previously on iOS but then it was removed and now it's back with iOS 14 beta 4 and hopefully it will stay that way. On the first video that I did on iOS 14 beta 4, I showed you guys the new 2x2 two two widgets for the shortcuts. Now this is very useful, of course you can have your shortcuts right there on the screen and run them from the home screen very very easily. But did you know that you can also create stacks of shortcuts with the smaller like widget like this so you can have multiple shortcuts right there on the small widget which is really really awesome and of course very useful. Another feature on iOS 14 beta 4 is support for 4K videos on the YouTube app. I know a lot of people had this since beta 1 or beta 2 but on beta 4 it seems like it has rolled out to more people and now more people are getting the 4K resolution on the YouTube app so you tap right there. You go to quality and you will have the option here to play 4k videos which is really really cool and of course you will get great quality when watching videos on your youtube app and now let's move on to the bad part what's bad and why am i saying that ios 14 beta 4 is the worst ios 14 beta today now of course this is a beta and you can expect to see a bunch of bugs on a beta version but this is like going backwards on iOS 14 beta 3, I didn't have any of these problems and it, on my experience it was way way better than beta 4. Now one of the biggest problems that I'm seeing is apps crashing and I've seen a ton of people on Reddit, on Twitter, same, same problem for everyone, apps just crashing and apps like Facebook or Instagram, apps like that just keep crashing. So you open the app, you're just doing random stuff and it will just quit the app. I've seen that happening to me a lot of times. It will happen probably like seven or eight times at least during a day. So on the middle of doing something, it will just crash the app. And that's of course very, very annoying. Another thing that I've noticed is that if you use Siri, you know that with iOS 14, Apple has added a new feature that will show you on the control center which app is using your mic or your camera. If you use Siri on iOS 14 beta 4, you will notice that when you go to the control center, it will say unknown, so it won't recognize what is using your microphone and that's really really bad as well now another huge bug that i've noticed and that especially with the app store app is that when i go to type something here or just enter my passcode when i want to purchase something it won't just show the keyboard at all now this happens especially when i want to enter my passcode of my apple id and also it happens on the notes app a lot of times it won't show the keyboard at all i will have to just to quit the app reopen it in order for the keyboard to show up and another very very annoying bug is this one right here now this is a screenshot that i took earlier it basically shows me just this blank screen when i open a notification from imessage i want to reply i just open it from the lock screen and it will just show me this blank screen and it will just freeze like this i will have to go out of the app quit the app and reopen iMessage in order to reply to that message and of course that's very very annoying. 
These are just some of the bugs that I have experienced myself using iOS 14 beta 4. Again, I know this is a beta, but it's just like going backwards. Beta 3, even beta 2 was way better in my experience. And as far as I've seen from Reddit and Twitter for a lot of people as well. And I have seen some reports also from other people that iOS 14 beta 4, it, it breaks app updating from the app store. So you go to the app store, you won't be able to update your apps at all. And also a lot of people are reporting that their iPhone is just heating up without basically doing anything like any heavy tasks or anything is just heats up a lot the device on iOS 14 beta 4. So that of course is very concerning as well because when your iPhone heats up, you know that it will also drain the battery and it's just not that good for your device. Now let's move on to battery life, which also it's not as good as iOS 14 beta 3. Now, of course, beta versions and even public releases, the initial ones, won't have that good of battery life. But on beta 4, I had a worse battery life than I had on beta 3. And that's very light. You can basically notice that your iPhone is having a worse battery life. Sometimes it might have a better battery life or slightly worse, but you won't even notice that. But with beta 4, in my case at least, it's noticeable that the battery life is way worse than on beta 3. So I just ran a poll yesterday on how satisfied people are with iOS 14 beta 4. And we got good 44%, 56% say that it's bad. I know it's beta, but a lot of people are experiencing a lot of problems that they didn't face on beta 3. That's why, of course, a lot of people are not satisfied at all with this beta. So what should you do? Of course, if you have iOS 14 beta 4 already installed like I have, there is nothing you can do. Just bear with it and probably in a week Apple will release beta 5. So that's the last topic of this video. You can expect beta 5 to come maybe in a week from now. The next Tuesday you should see the release of the beta 5 and probably it will fix a lot of these problems. If you have beta 3 on your device right now and you didn't update to iOS 14 beta 4 then just stay away from it. Just wait for beta 5. It should be much much better. So that's basically it for this video guys. This is my follow up and my take based on my experience with iOS 14 beta 4. So that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you found it helpful. Go ahead and leave a like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe for more and I'll see you on the next one.